developed by Arcane Studios and published by Bethesda in 2017, originally for the Sony PlayStation 4, personal computer on Microsoft Xbox One was that of Prey. The concept of the game had it that in an alternate timeline of the year 2032, the protagonist of Morgan Yu was asked by their brother of Alex Yu to join a research team on the orbiting station of Talos One. Morgan is then taken to a research port to begin routine tests, but through the tests, an alien creature attacks and Morgan is knocked unconscious. Upon awaking later, Morgan learns that everything was a simulation and that it's actually the year of 2035. Through events in the game, Morgan discovers that the alien creatures, called the Typhon, have nearly taken control of the entire space station and that through the research of the Typhon, personalized learning equipment, called neuromods, have greatly accelerated human potential, but with the consequences of memory loss when removing the neuromods in certain situations. Attempting to survive through the station on encountering others along the way, Morgan is given choices to either help them or not help them. Upon reaching Alex, as the situation with the Typhon is becoming more dire, Morgan is forced to make a choice of either destroying the entire Talos 1 station on eliminating the Typhon, but losing all of the Anos Neuromod technology, as well as research, or saving Talos but using a sonic wave device to kill all the Typhon, but it's a much more complex process to achieve. Whatever choice is made by the player, upon completion of the game, Morgan wakes up in yet another lab and learns that everything experienced in the game was yet another simulation, and that Alex is there and explains everything. It's hinted out the original Morgan died during the Typhon attack on Talos 1, and a single Typhon was captured and exposed to the original Morgan used memories. Alex says that the Typhon have already invaded the Earth, and the planet is nearly conquered as a result by the alien race. Depending on the player's choices through the game, the Typhon Morgan is either destroyed by Alex, or if the Typhon Morgan displayed compassion, then it's given the choice of helping to bring peace between humanity and the Typhon. Upon release of the original game it was met with positive reviews from critics as well as gamers. The main character of Morgan Yu was also met with positive reactions due to them being an interesting sort of main character for the game who was put into the story of Prey, as well as in-game details having that of Morgan Yu being of a biracial background. In 2022, director Rafael Colantonio made comments that the game wasn't originally supposed to have the title of Prey. That particular decision for the game's title wasn't Arcane Studios' decision, on that Bethesda forced the decision onto Arcane Studios to call the game Prey, despite developers at Arcane not wanting the title for their video game. From information now known, the reason why the game was called Prey is that Prey was the title for a video game released in 2006, originally for the personal computer on Microsoft Xbox 360. This version of Prey had a cancelled sequel, and that the rights to the details of Prey were important to Bethesda, so that the game, released by Arcane Studios in 2017, was to be called Prey to keep the details with Bethesda. Rafael Colantonio also commented that the forced title of Prey on the game was an insult to the original Prey video game, which was developed by a different studio and caused confusion among players. Despite the game being received well by both critics and players, Rafael Colantonio later mentioned that the sales for the game were low, and that nothing more came of the game since minor downloadable content was released in 2018. Speculation later had it that even though the game was enjoyable, the character of Morgan Yu, somewhat original and memorable, the experience of Prey wasn't something that was easily remembered, or needlessly forgotten. And if anything were to be done with the 2017 game in the future, the neutrality of critics on gamers wouldn't do much for the indifference for the overall consensus of the game, as well as the main character of Morgan Yu. Sometimes a character can be forgotten because a studio developed a game with a clear intention for its main character on product, but a publisher demanded a name change for the game, and as a result, the change confused everyone and affected how the game was portrayed as. 